edition of Everything Home. I'm your host, Brian Domingo. Today on our show, we're going subterranean. We're going down in the basement of this old 1923 house where they've been having a problem with their sump pump burning out and their basement getting flooded. We're going to go down there and check the way that they have their old sump pump routed. We're going to install this brand new one. We're going to show you everything that you need to know to do this yourself. It's an easy project. It shouldn't take more than an hour to do. Well, now that we're down here, we can take a look at the old sump pump. We can see one of the biggest problems that they have is that they're just using a garden hose for the outlet. And that's bending over and kinking and not allowing the water to come out. Also, the type of mechanism that they have, a float mechanism down here, in the cavern that it sits in, it actually gets hung up and sits there on the edge to where it actually burns out the pump because once the water goes down, the pump will stay on and then it burns out the pump. So we're going to take this out. You can see that right here in this mechanism. And the way it turns on is it's got to come up like this and back down. So if it gets caught on the edge in the up position, then the pump's going to stay on and burn out. And also with this kinking like that, you don't have any water going out. So we're going to pull this one apart, take this one out of here. We're going to set up the new one and we're going to hook it up better so that it actually drains right into the sewer line like it was meant to do. Now that we have the old pump out of there, the first thing we're going to do is put together the water outlet pipe. We're using Schedule 40 PVC. There's a male fitting that comes out of the pump itself, so we're going to be gluing a female inch and a half threaded fitting onto the PVC pipe. We want to put a little bit of glue on both sides, inside the fitting and on the pipe. Then you're going to want to slide those together. As you slide them together, use a little spinning action. Put that in nice and tight. Once that's dry, we're going to put that onto the male fitting of the pump and we'll screw that down. So you can see by the arrow, our on off for this pump is a slide so it's not going to get stuck. Once you get that on nice and tight, we're going to slide that down inside the cavern which is below grade so the water flows down into that. Next thing we're going to do after it's in there is we're going to connect it to the sewer pipe and you see this is a one-way valve here we'll be connecting it up to that like it's supposed to be we're going to put a L together same way you put the other one together once that L is together you're going to slide that up inside there we're going to attach a clamp to that and once that's installed we can install the 90 degree elbow that's going to connect to the outlet pipe once you have that 90 degree elbow on there, we're going to take a measurement on the outlet pipe and mark that and then cut that. Now that the outlet pipe's cut, we're going to slide that back down inside its cavern. We're going to connect the 90 degree to that one. And once we have that all screwed in and tight, we're going to make sure all of the fittings are really tight. Now that everything's hooked up and tight, the last thing we have to do is plug it in. Uh, the pump and the on-off are all on one switch. So you just plug that in and it turns on automatically. As you can see, it's going to start to drain. And then you'll see the slide go down and not get caught like the other type of on-off switch that it had before. And this is the completed project all the way up and where it goes into the sewer pipe and the one-way valve so the sewer doesn't back up into that. Another job well done. Congratulations.